All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahusha. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And the sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Um, the title of this lesson is um, Their Blood is Off Our Hands. Okay? Um, which is, you know, uh, according to the scriptures, um, why we, we you know, the, the men of the Lord, you know, why we judge or, or why we're supposed to judge and why we tell people the things that are going on, okay? Um, that they're going to die um, if they don't get right with Yahweh uh, Shemiah Shah, as far as, you know, the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, we tell them like, hey, you know, you got to get right with the Lord or else the Lord is going to destroy you. And by doing that, the blood is off of our hands, okay? Now, you have people that um, look at us and, and, and say, you know, um, you sin too and stuff like that. You know, well, the, the thing is, you know, and I'm going to get into that in the scriptures, um, nobody uh, doesn't sin, man, you know, but the thing is, according to the scriptures, the men of the Lord have a job to do as far as what, you know, what the Lord said to do, man, okay, this is uh, Ezekiel 3 and 17, it says, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel, okay? And what we do, okay, you know, we, um, we're looking for the prophecies uh, uh, that's written in the Bible to come to pass, okay? Which is the RFID chip, okay? You have martial law that's about to come. You have the famine, okay? Um, you're going to have the, the uh, another famine where... We're not going to be able to go out here and tell people the things that are going on right now. So right now, we're telling people, you know, to get right with the Lord while there's still time. Okay? Um, you have uh, the diseases that are going to come. You know, it's going to be a lot of uh, a destruction. It's going to be a lot of anguish out here, man. You know? People are going to be losing their, their, their uh, children, um, their loved ones. It's going to be so so much chaos out here, man. And we're warning people the things that are to come before they come, okay? And and one of the, the, the reasons why a lot of people, um, our people, the Israelites, are going to die is because they don't know the Lord. They don't know Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. And we're trying to get them back onto the Lord and teach them the truth, and truth and in sincerity, okay? It says, um, therefore... Hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. When I say to unto the wicked that thou shalt surely die, and thou give them not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his way to save his life, and that's what we're doing, you know. The Lord said that he's going to bring these this judgment, okay, down on this, this earth. And if we don't do what the Lord said to do, okay, to continue, it says, The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at your hand. Okay, so if we don't go out there and, and tell the people that they're going to die, the Lord going to require that at our hands, man, especially the fact that we know what's going on. That's why we go out there in the winter. That's why we go out there in the hot. That's why we continue to put up videos. Okay? That's why this work is in us, man. Because, first off, this is our job. And this is a labor of love. We're not telling uh, the, the, the woman to, to not be a slut off of the fact that, um, or, or that she is a slut off the fact that, you know, it's out of wickedness. We're telling her that, you know, she needs to stop being that to, to get right. We're not telling niggas that you're a nigga because we hating. we telling niggas to, to get right because hey, if you don't, man, and you, you being a nigga and you being ignorant, you you going to die, man. And if we don't do that, then then we are just as, as bad as those people. Okay in the bull crap, man. 
Okay, so we have to we have to warn people. We have to. Okay? It says, Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he so die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Okay? And that's the point, you know? If the person that we telling that they're wicked and they don't want to get right, you know, but we told them, the, their, that blood is off of our hands. We don't have to 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 um to to worry about whether that person um is going to get right, man, because he already made the choice that he wasn't going to get right. You know, the elect, which are the chosen people that are going to make it, okay, they're they're going to hear this word and they're going to get it. It ain't going to be no, um, you know, two years from now, once you heard the word, you know, uh, I'm going to get right. You know, like like how a lot of people sit up there and, you know, dude, the Lord has a chosen people. You know, where's the Lord, you know, he puts you through, through certain things, you know. But if you could choose to continue to remain wicked, okay, then you're going to die in that wickedness, you know. The scripture says, make no turn to turn to the Lord, okay, and put off not uh, day to day, you know, you don't say, oh, tomorrow, you know, I'm going to do it, or tomorrow, I'm going to stop smoking weed, or tomorrow, I'm going to stop sleeping with other men, women, and, you know, to, I'm, I'm going to stop sinning, you know, a lot about people looking at it as, as though this is a religion, man, you know, this is not religion, this is some real life stuff, man, real, people are going to die out here, man. You know, Donald Trump, y'all people don't have no answer for that, man. Y'all don't have no answer for that. You know, Donald Trump signing executive orders and y'all can't even get away from that, man. Y'all y'all being oppressed and y'all like it. Or y'all hate it, I should say. You know, but y'all like the fact that y'all in America. Y'all think that America is the best uh, country to be in over all these other countries. Okay, whereas though we're, rule, we're supposed to be rulers... But you people are, are too far gone, man. Okay? Thinking that you can make it in this world without y'all by Shem Yahweh without the Lord, man. Okay? The Lord want his props, man. He created everything. He created you, man. He wants you to do what, what the heck he made you do, man. Okay? But you want to do your own thing. Okay? It says, again, when a righteous man does turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Because thou hast not given him warning, he shall die in his sin. And his righteousness, which he has done, shall not be rem remembered. But his blood will I require at your hand. Okay? So we supposed to give people warning, man, to get that blood off of our hands. It says, nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not, and he does not sin, he shall surely live. Because he is warned, also thou hast delivered thy soul. Okay, so this is a part of uh, doing the work of the Lord. Okay, Matthew 5 and 17. It says, think not that I am come to destroy the law. So the Lord didn't come to, to, to say, okay, you know, um, it's okay to be a homosexual and to, to, to change your sex from a male to a, a female. Okay, the Lord didn't do that. Okay. It says, or the prophets, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Okay? And what he's going to do, he's going to come back the second coming. He's going to get the people that do his work. The, the ones that, are, that have the faith and the ones that, that come back to him. The Lord is going to deliver those people. Okay? And um, basically... The Lord destroyed the world with water before, okay, people didn't want to listen, you know, and this time he's going to destroy the world with, uh, with fire, and when he destroyed the world with water, not many people were saved, and that's going to be the same thing this, this time, not many people are going to be saved, man, okay, you have the 144,000 and the elect, okay, which is the one third, which the 144,000 are a part of the one third, okay, which the one third that's talking about um, Israel. It says, um, For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. 
So heaven and earth did not pass. We still here. Okay? So not one jot or tittle passed away from the law. Okay? So we're supposed to still keep the law, but that don't mean that we can keep all the laws in this society. Okay? Now, if you know that there's a law and the Bible says don't do this, you know, and you still do it, then that's wicked, man. You know? You're supposed to try your best to 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 not uh uh, go off, okay? You're supposed to try your best to, to keep the laws that are in the Bible. But in this society, you know, like like the scriptures um, talk about, you know, not wearing mixed fabrics. Hey, like this shirt, man. You know, I don't know what this shirt was, was made out of, man. You know, this shirt, it probably got mixed fabrics in it and everything, man. You know? So we sin no, no, uh, not knowingly, you know? That's why we're supposed to pray, you know, to the Heavenly Father. You know, and, and ask for forgiveness for the sins that we know or, or, or the sins that we did and, you know, we didn't know. You know, so we supposed to continue to, to, to ask for forgiveness from the Lord, you know, because, hey, we, we are worthy of death, man. And, and that's not um, something that should be taken lightly just because we know this truth don't don't mean a thing. You know, because the Lord, you know, we, we, the scripture says that, you know, all, all our righteousness is like filthy rags, man. You know, so the fact is that, you know, we're not hypocrites, you know, not at all. But at the same time, the, 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 the thing is, we're supposed to try to keep the, the, the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. You know, grow your beard. You know, you don't want to grow your beard. You know, for no reason, then that shows that you're wicked. You know, you just want to get the shape ups and, you know, the, 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 to uh, cut your beard off, you know, go bald. You know, it's a lot of people like uh, bald heads and stuff. You know, that's that's wicked. You know, we're telling people, you know, like I, it's one thing if, uh, you know, where we have, as the scriptures say, um, it says, whoso... Ever, therefore shall break one of the least commandments and teach men so he shall be called the least in the kingdom so it's one thing to, to um you know like uh have a bald head and and to teach other people that it's okay to have bald heads or to eat pork and and, and teach other people that it's okay to eat pork you know that's that's wicked you know and the people that do do those things they're going to be called the least the ones that say the laws are done away with Okay, which this thing, you know, the laws are important, but that's, you know, the, the prophecies and, and having a faith is the most important thing. Okay, it says, uh, but whosoever shall do and teach them, you know, the laws, the, the statutes and commandments, how we supposed to be. Okay, not not to be proud, to be humble. Okay, um, it says the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, the ones that tell men to, to, to grow the beard. The ones that tell men to be men. The ones that tell women to be uh, women, man. Because you have a lot of men out here that are acting like women. You know? And you have a lot of women out here that, that's acting like men, men too. Okay? Okay, it says, um, For I say unto you that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. So we have to do these commandments and teach other men to do these things. So and by doing that, we're not hypocrites, okay? But at the same time, you know, all of the sin out here in this world, you can't escape it. Because first off, the so-called white man is the devil, and he puts uh, pork in every freaking thing, okay? Like like pork is in, um, you know, the hair brushes and stuff, you know, for, for brushing your hair. You know, you can get a synthetic uh, hairbrush, you know, but, you know, it is it, certain cases where, um, you know, you, you, you can't escape it, you know. Now, we would I, I wouldn't personally get on um, a, a, a brother about, you know, doing certain things, you know, uh, you know, being over righteous and stuff like that, because you're not supposed to do that, you know, but a brother ain't supposed to be wicked. You know, uh, overly wicked. You know, you got it's a straight, straight line that you have to pet the walk. 
you know? Um, Isaiah 49 and 4, then said I, um, hold on, it's, yeah, I'm going to start at the third verse. It says, and, and said unto me, thou art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified, okay? It says, then said I, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for naught and in vain. Yet surely my judgment is with the Lord and my work with uh Yahweh by Shimia Okay? And when you when you look at it, two thirds of our people don't want to get it. So it may seem like, you know, the, the, the fact that we're telling people uh, you know, to get right that it is not working. You know? But in re reality it really is, you know? Because our work is is what Yahweh Shimia was shot. Okay, so the Lord sees what you're doing. Okay, it says, and now saith the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him, though Israel be not yet, I mean, be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, and my God shall be my strength. Okay, so by doing these things, even though Israel is not gathered yet, you know, the Lord, um, still looks at us with, with glory you know we, we're glorious in, in Yahweh some Yahweh's eyes eyes you know the fact that we're doing these things it says second corinthians 2 and 15 for we are unto uh the most high Yahweh, a sweet savior of Yahweh's shah okay so the word savior okay it said it says a sweet savior okay it says um, the the uh, Greek word for it. Strong's G twenty one seventy five, Euodia, Euodia, is Euodia. Okay, it says a sweet smell, a fragrance, a fragrant or a sweet smelling thing, incense, on odor, or something sweet smelling, an odor of acquiescence, satisf satisfaction. So when the Lord looks at us, you know. Uh, he, 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 you know, he's satisfied with the smell. He's satisfied with the works that we're doing. Okay, it says a sweet odor spoken of the smell of sacrifices and obligations, <laughs> agreeably to the ancient notion that God smells and is pleased with the odor of sacrifices. Metaphor, a thing well pleasing to God. Okay, so it says that. For we are unto Yahweh, a sweet savior of Yahweh Shah, and them that are saved and, and them that perish. Okay, so the thing is, the fact that we do these things, you know, is satisfying to Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shah. Okay, and the Lord um, wants, you know, us to, to, to be uh, a sweet savior. Okay. Um, because where is this is the uh the, the word uh the word said um uh spoken of the smell of sacrifices and obligations okay so we're obligated to do this work okay we're 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 sacrificing okay ourselves to do this work okay because before with um you know before Yahweh Shah came okay you had to uh, sacrifice um, animals, clean animals, you know, to to the Lord, you know, in order to make atonement for your sins. But what Yahweh Shah did, you know, when he came, he was that sacrifice, you know, that's why they call him the lamp, okay? The Lord, Yahweh Shah, was the sacrifice, so that's what we, that's, that's what, how, that's what we have to do or who we have to go through in order to get to the most high. Okay? So, the, when we do, and we, as the scriptures say, I'm going to get it, um, Romans 12 and 1, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. So a part of our reasonable service is 
telling people and being watchmen and telling people to come back to the Lord. Okay? And that satisfies Yahweh by Shemiah Osha. Okay? And that gets the blood off of our hands. Okay? Because the Lord, um, as the scripture says, um, let me try to get it. This is uh, seven uh, Le Leviticus uh, seven and twenty-seven. Or I can start at twenty-six. It says, "Moreover, you shall not eat no manner of blood, whereof it be of fowl or of beast or in any of your dwellings whatsoever. So it be that eats any manner of blood, even that soul shall be cut off from his people." Okay. So this is a law that the Lord put in there okay because you know the lord ain't with that uh eating eating uh rare um rare uh food you know or lukewarm food okay if the lord if you brought something to if, if somebody brought something to you okay and you went to a restaurant they brought something to you at your table and that food was not uh a hot or or or, 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 or um or, or um or cold which, you know, some, some, some foods, you know, you can serve cold, you know, but if that food was warm, you're not going to want to eat it. You know, that's germy. That's, 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 uh, that's, uh, disease territory. Okay. That, 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 that somebody bring you a frozen steak, you're going to look at them and be like, yo, what the hell is this, man? You know? So the Lord don't want no, no blood, um, in his food, man. You know? The Lord don't want no blood in his, in his sacrifices, man. You know? So that's what what we are, man. You know, we getting that blood off of our hand by telling people to come back to the Lord, you know? So, you know, I don't want to make this a long, drawn-out lesson. Um, but, you know, the elect are uh, a sweet savor um, onto the Lord. It says, Romans 12 and 2, it says, And be ye not... Conform to the work to this world, you know, to the ways of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And we telling people to renew their minds, okay, to 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 wipe away everything that they knew before, you know. Um, it says that you may prove what is good, and acceptable, and perfect will of Yahweh, you know, the Most High. So, by us presenting our bodies as living sacrifices like, you know, the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus did, okay, he presented his body as a living sacrifice and he did the things, you know, that's how we get to the most high, by doing those things, you know, we're not sacrificing uh, stuff anymore, we can't do that anymore, you know, so we're sacrificing our lives by putting it on the line, by telling people, you know, to get right with Yahweh by Simeon Wasa. You know? So um, um I got one more scripture. Uh J John 3 and I mean, 13 and uh 10. It's uh Yahweh Sha saith unto him, He that is washed needs not save to wash his feet, but is clean every whit. And you are clean, but not all. Okay? So the thing is, you know, this scripture. Um, you know, he, he was talking about, um, you know, uh, Judas Iscariot, um, betraying him, but in this, this sense, you know, um, we're washing ourselves, you know, or we are, the, 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 the elect are washing themselves by telling people to, to do certain things, you know, to get right with the Lord, you know, and the ones that, that don't. You know, they're the ones that, that aren't clean. There's the ones, they are the ones that the Lord is not satisfied with, okay? And and we want the Lord to be satisfied with us. And we don't want to, to be destroyed from off the fact that, you know, we didn't tell somebody uh, to do certain things. We're not supposed to spare anybody. You know, if you ain't down with, with, with doing what the Lord say, you know, then, then you know, you're going to die in your, your wickedness, okay? And that's pretty much the point, man. Um, but with that, I want to say uh, salam. Hopefully this lesson was uh, edifying.
you know, uh, shalom until next time.